All right, this is Steven, and we're doing another phase-by-phase -phase draft, and today we're going to be doing Skulk. We're going to try to pick up as many as those creatures as we can, and basically try to get in unblocked every single turn. As for that, most of them are in blue and black, and I don't think there's any in white. I know there's the enchantment for it, but I think we're just going to go ahead and take this Deadweight. It's a great card. And overall will help us out. Da, da, da. Here's a moon drake. I'm not really sure about a seven drop. It's slightly interesting though. Oh da, da, da. twins is more madness, but I don't really see anything else that's really gonna let us. Might just take the moon drake. I don't really like the fact that it's a 7 drop. I don't know. I hate gone missing. Oh, there's really just nothing here. For us. If we're going to try to do skulk. Um... I guess we'll take the moon tricks. I really am not super fan of it. There is Murderous Compulsion, which is a eh, decent removal. It's okay. Alright, we'll take Murderous Compulsion. Oh, Pale Rider. Alright, we will take the Pale Rider. And it's actually a pretty good card, and we've got black so far. Mainly won't be trying to pick up um, efficient blockers, probably stuff that taps their creatures down. There is a press for answers and a throttle. I'm, yeah, I don't know if I want to pick throttle up this early. And press for answers is pretty okay. Might try to get that Stormrider Spirit back. I've seen wheel pretty well. Oh, oof, um, there's crows. I'm going to do <clears throat> more of a always be getting in unblocked. There's a grotesque mutation. We're pretty much still. Black is probably still open with the crows, but it's probably a bit too early to tell that. Um, crow over mutation. Actually, I think. Uh, we'll want the mutation if we're going to be doing Skulk. We need to be picking up defensive creatures, though. There we go, we should be getting it. Um, there's a lamb hole pass vest. Not super anything else. And it's a pretty good blocker for a two drop. All right, take the pass vest. Um, Or of the pages. Warped Landscape Lamp might be nice here. Um, I usually like a Warped Landscape if I can. If we figure out we're going to be splashing. Oh, there's a Skin Invasion still there. That's interesting. There's a Silent Observer, which is a great blocker. If we're going to be going into blue, would I rather have that over Skin Invasion? I'm not a huge... F I like Skin Invasion, but it's never really been the thing. We'll take the Silent Observer, see what happens. I was hoping to get more of the um, 
the uh, 2 1 homunculi. Okay. Uh, we'll just take this vessel. I have no problem with it. There's plenty of skulk creatures in blue and black. Um, here. I, I'll just take this quarry. There's nothing really else there for us. Um, is piece of the puzzles any good? No, it's not. I forgot what that card did completely. Um, voice or expose evil. I'll take the tormenting voice. I like it just a little bit better. And I guess explosive apparatus. There is an expose evil. All right, well, not exactly the greatest first pack. Oh, <gasps> the Gitrog. Oh, but there's thing in the ice. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> there's a recruiter, too. <sighs> okay, so, hmm. I've never gotten to play with the Gitrog. It looks really fun. We do have, <laughs> if we were going to go get rogging around we do have a pretty decent start for green black mm. you know i don't okay so we're not gonna get dust watch recruiter back and we're definitely not gonna get thing in the ice back we wouldn't we definitely not get mysteries back but we could probably get uh, a confront uh, in some sort of weird world. We'll get biting rain back, um, or we could take thing in the ice and go blue green spells and well, oh, that's not really a thing. We're just gonna take get rock. We're taking get rock. Oh, it's the blob. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> I think we might be doing <laughs> green black. I think we might just be relaxing here and instead of doing skulk, which wasn't my best idea to begin with. I think we're just going to play green black. Awesome. All right. I actually really like the blob. There's a lot of people that go, oh, well, it never getting turned on. I've had plenty of times where I've just gone vessel blob. Take it. All right. Um, so here... Um, there's the twins, which wouldn't be, they're okay in the deck. They're not really super for madness. Um, I'd rather have that over a hounds to be truthful. There's not really a whole lot in this pack for green black. So we're just going to go ahead and take these twins, see what we can get. There's a solitary hunter, which I really do just like good old fashioned hunter. All right. Um, here, there's a scavenger, which is probably one of the best ones. There's an uninvited geist. Of course, the, it's going to do that to me now. Um, all right, we're just going to take scavenger because it's probably one of the best two drops for us. And other than that, maybe confront the unknown, but we'll see what happens. So we're five picks in. All right. Um, here, actually, I kind of want this rancid rats just for early blocks. Um, confront the unknown would have been fine. I don't think we need with a solitary hunter, a twins, and a get rog the thorn hide wolves. And rancid rats is just great. It comes down, and eventually they'll have to deal with it. 
heights. How many pixels? That six. Okay. Grotesque can go over here. Man, I've never gotten to play with Gitrog. I've seen it played against me. I, I've seen it played. It's definitely interesting as a five drop. It puts just an immense amount of pressure on the opponent to deal with it. There's a fork in the road, which would be nice because we're going to be pretty heavy into delirium. And it would be nice just to have something like that. Plus, we've got a warped landscape over there. Clip that. Um, Fork in the Road or Stoic Builder? I don't really see right now a Stoic Builder. It might be nice because we'll be getting lands in there and it'll help with the get rog, but Fork is going to get a sorcery and a land. So we're just going to take that. Um, there's another Scavenger or another Rancid Rats. Hmm. Um, just for consideration of, like, getting something down and holding off, like, werewolves or anything, we might want to just take the Rancid Rats. I prefer it just slightly over Scavenger, even though Scavenger, I think, is better in this deck. I want the Death Touch just because it's hard to get through. Alright. Wow, we got Deadweight back from our first pack. Yeah, I'll take it. Um, probably just want a Wicker Witch here. It's a nice little three drop. Um, Hound of the Far Bogs is completely fine. I don't really want it in the deck though right now. Um, I will take somebody's, I don't know. I don't even want my Beyond Reason. Yeah, we'll take Nagging Thoughts. I don't really care. Um, what does that do? Oh, that could actually be interesting. I've never actually played that. Uh, uh yeah, sure, Vessel, whatever. I'm forced to take it. <clears throat> wow, this is coming together pretty well. Oh, there's a startled awake. <laughs> Oh, that would have been awesome. Um, for us, let's see, we only have two transform cards, but it's a great card if it ever does transform. There's Asylum Visitor, which is interesting. Hmm. It's either that or we can, like, Ghoul Steed... Or neglected heirloom on the off chance we get more werewolves. It is a two mana three one. It's pretty good. Although neglected heirloom has such a high like if this thing gets transformed, it just becomes a huge problem. I'm gonna take the I'm going to take the heirloom just because it becomes amazingly better if you ever get a transform off. And we can probably get a transform off. Um, there's the homunculus. Man, we could have actually maybe done it. Um, here, oh. Would we even play Stallion? We probably would. I don't actually see truly anything else other than that fork in the road. Intrepid Provisioner over Ashmouth. I think we just want the Stallion. Uh, I Ooh, Rabbit Bite. Over Logger. Yes. Yeah. All right. There's another rabbit bite or a tooth collector. Huh. 11 creatures. We're going to have to pick up a lot more creatures. We're going to have to pick up creatures, but I have no problem taking one more rabbit bite. We'll just have to make sure 
make sure that we get well, two more, three more creatures in the rest of this pack. We do have a hound over here. <sighs> Third rabbit bite. See if that or sanatorium, sanitarium skeleton. Um. Oh my. Dead weight. We'd probably have to take out the grotesque mutation, but I'd rather have a grotesque mutation than a rabbit. I'd rather have a rabbit bite than a grotesque mutation. Mm. And then there's a far bog revenant right there, which would be okay in the deck. I think I just want this rabbit bite. All right. What else is here? Here. Wicker Witch. Actually, we will take this Wicker Witch over the walls. We want to be able to play stuff early. Um, there's a Reverent, a Far Bog, which is completely fine. Um, Watcher in the Web would actually probably be something I'd want more than the Twins. Or we could take this Vampire and just put her in, but no, I think I want this watcher in the web and probably right now just take out grotesque mutation i'm not sure about skeleton key i've never actually played with it before but it could no wait i have i think i'm sorry i play with skeleton key i know i have i just can't remember um here we want a creature, but I don't know if it's even going to make the deck another Ash Mouth. Um, although there's this Foul Orchard, and the deck's pretty much set up for where we want to be. Yeah, let's take the Dual Land. Like, it's not really a huge deal. Um, there's Provisioner if we ever feel like we need to bring it in. Rotten Heart Ghoul. I don't really like you four drop with two power I'll take it but I don't really want it skeleton keys probably gonna be cut for something else um there's a skeleton we could take all right let's take the skeleton um Alms of the Vein, I truly and honestly hate. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Merciless Resolve. Um, doesn't really go anywhere, but it's still... I still think it's a fine card. Actually, just for this deck, I might put it in over that skeleton key. Alright, let's put it in Foul Orchard. And, let me see. What wants Delirium? The Blob. Scavenger. No, that doesn't even care. We still only have two transforms. I don't know if that's... That's not really enough for the heirloom. We didn't get as many transforms as I wanted. Excuse me. Um, with that in mind, what would we rather want than that equipment? Probably the grotesque mutation. Either that or the twins. Let me see. Those rabbit bites are going to be great with our rats. Twins of Mauer State. Skeleton Key. I don't know if I... Hmm. 
Skeleton key might be interesting. All right, we'll try skeleton key. I'm willing to do that. All right, add lands. Yep, that's fine. All right, I'll see you guys for round one. All right, we're back for round one with the get rog. And how can we say no to this hand? All right, here we go. Turn one vessel. Vessel, say go. We've got wicker weight, we've got dead weight. <laughs> Turned into less of a delirium deck and more of just a general green black good stuff, but hey, I'm fine with that. Insolent neonate, that's fine. We'll probably save our dead weight for something just a little bit scarier than that. Ooh, the blob. Okay. Hmm. Do we want to crack vessel now? Yeah, we kind of do. All right, we'll crack it. See what happens. We need to try to get as many card types as we can into the graveyard. So that will probably determine what we pick. Wow. Um, I guess we'll just take this foul orchard. Put that in hand. What? Put in hand. Oh, forgot to click. Okay. All right. So you go. We've got three car types. We can probably. Put Wicker Witch down, try to get killed. We'll try to get Blob online as soon as we can. Next turn, we'll probably save the Orchard for whenever we've got a turn that we can do that. Oh my. Okay. I definitely know what's getting dead weight next turn. <laughs> I can deal with most of that, but I, uh, the, we only really have the, um, the spider for this deck to worry about flyers. It's taking our whole turn. Yeah, we kind of got to before that thing gets any bigger. All right, so they go. We can play Wicker Witch next turn and see if he won't play something else. Because that's got Menace, so we can't block. But I'm sure he's got something else. Hopefully not a Flyer, though. Don't be Crow. Oh, I'm so glad that I killed that. I am so glad that I killed the Blood Swarm because we would have probably just died. Really? I'm surprised. Thought for sure he wouldn't want to get through. Alright. Um, here, I'm just going to play the Wicker Witch. We can play... Possibly... I don't know, because we didn't play the Foul Orchard this turn. Shoot. Alright. That's going to slow us down by a turn. Creeping Dread. Okay. I 
completely forgot what Creeping Dread did. <laughs> Come on in. Yep. I can't. Oh, when it goes, just give him the option. All right. Hopefully we draw an untapped land so it doesn't matter with my mess up. No, I guess not. Alright. So that thing is going to be a 2-2 two -two for a striker. Let's play the stallion. And we'll see if we can't double block that. Next turn we can probably get the the Git Grog online. Oh, we gotta discard something. Hmm. Probably the rats. I completely forgot about Creeping Dread. And if he discards a creature here, we're automatically taking three. Alright, we'll pick rats. Hit OK. Yep, he pitched a skeleton. That's okay, next turn we're just going to put the, the get rog down. And we've got delirium, so dead weight means he's going to be able to get through. Okay. Can't block. He's going to go ahead and first strike. He'll probably just return Sanitarium Skeleton to his hand. Which, hey, that's fine. That's most of his turn. Nope, nope. Hulking Devil. Okay. This is interesting. Hmm. Alright, we're just going to go ahead and play the Get Rog. We can sacrifice land, draw an extra card, maybe pull us out of this. And honestly, if, if he has a trick, I don't, he has to basically draw a trick right here. Um, I'm going to, oh, I don't know. See, the blob, if we get it online, will start giving us creatures to pop out. There'll be three threes, but I don't know if that's really going to be worth it. If I play the hunter... Can become a 5 6. Yeah, actually, we're going to discard Blob. He has to pull a uh, combat trick right here to get his Hulking Devil through. Yep, that's what I thought. Alright, so we're probably going to pitch a forest. Draw a card. Dead weight. Hmm. Alright. Um Let's just puke our hand out. And 
let's kill let's kill that devil I don't think he has a combat trick let's get in with the get rog he'll take six or he's gonna have a combat trick I mean one of the two All right. Next turn, he has to play a spell. And we don't have to discard because we have nothing. He discard a mountain. He has to get a trick to get through here. Nope. Do you have a spell? Because if you don't, I get a 5 6. All right. Transform. Get Rog. We'll take a swamp out. Let us draw two cards. And this is how we're going to get ahead. Merciless Resolve and Murderous Compulsion. Okay. Um, that might be pretty good. I think here, uh, that's 11. Yep, yeah, that's 14. So we go ahead and attack, and we can pump at instant speed and trade there, or actually just eat unless he has a trick, and he has to block this. All right. And he just takes a bazillion. He goes to three. And that should almost be the game. I'm not really sure how he gets out of this. Um, yeah, let's just take out the Merciless Resolve. Yep, all right. All hail the frog. Um, for this, we're really going to need something down earlier. Because he's going to try to be um, getting in there early. Which is why either we need to think about the skeleton or the explosive apparatus to ping his flyers. Um, so, actually I think I'm going to put the apparatus in there. I don't love it, but really there's not a whole bunch else that we have that's going to be able to deal with his stuff. So yeah, explosive apparatus. Let's go back to it. Oh, somebody already dropped. Hmm. All right. Well, I hope we don't lose this round. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me have a great seven. We've got quite a few two drops with the rats and a few, and um, some of the other ones. Ugh. We can't keep this. We just can't. <laughs> like, even though we have all these great two drops, if we don't hit a forest, we're dead. Oh, yeah, we'll keep this. Um, actually, we're going to put that on the bottom. So, how do we get Delirium on turn three? Ah, actually, we just need it by turn four. Oh, yay, another forest. Alright, say go. see turn two fork in the road hit 
this for one, that's fine. Don't care. Do you have a vampire? Nope. Okay. Alright, so we need to make it so that we get delirium as fast as possible. So, do we want to do fork in the road or vessel for another permanent? Let's just go ahead and fork right now where he's only got that. Vessel's got a much greater chance of doing it, but right now we've he's only got the 1-1. One, one. All right, choose this card. Put that in hand. Oh, shoot, I did that wrong. It's supposed to be the other way around. Eh, shouldn't matter. We've got a foul orchard. All right, that's two card types. And then next turn, we're going to put the blob down. Swamp. Okay. Hit us for one. And hopefully what we're going to try to do is get the blob down. And then we're probably going to try a crack vessel. See if we can't. Um, crack Vessel and probably Rabbit Bite next turn just to try to get as much in to clear out any blocker he has. Let's see, we still need a creature artifact or like I'm not sure. Creature artifact, we could do a sorcery. We'll have to see once we crack. He's got something here Dead Weight. Double dead weight? Because if not, I don't really care. The blob's job is to make three threes. You have a bolt? Dual shot. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we'll just have to crack vessel and find something else. And that happens. He use two spells among one creature so I guess we're technically ahead I wonder if he didn't have anything else like really anything with four mana he could have played and probably blocked the blob alright so yeah let's just go ahead and get the 3-3 uh, three, three down that sets up next turn to be able to rabbit bite and crack vessel in the same turn And that means that all we have to do to get Delirium is just Sack Vessel. And that was somebody's Firecracker, if you could actually hear that. Storm Clark does absolutely no value, but whatever. Maybe he just drew it. But with that... I think we're just going to go ahead and deadweight that. And go ahead and get in here for an attack. He probably won't block. He might just to save him the life. I mean, skeleton, he can always bring back. Nope, 17. Let's play our orchard. And we'll crack vessel later on. I, have, I don't think we have anything for a single green other than Vessel in the deck. Rotten Heart Ghoul. Actually, not that bad. We'll just keep a random land around. Okay. I don't care about the one damage, actually. Oh, shoot. All right. Let's go to attacks. I forgot to crack my vessel. We can still pump at instant speed, though. Um... All right, we'll just hit him for three. That's fine. Let's 
Let's go ahead and crack here, though. Um. Oh, we are just gonna put the monster in the hand. Oh, no. Click OK. Get Roggy. Um. And with that in mind, let's just go ahead and play Rats. Um. We're probably not going to trade Rancid Rats because being able to Rabbit Bite onto something that matters with the Death Touch will be really great. Unless he dual shots. He's being very aggressive. Is he going to try to get in for three? Yep. All right. Merciless Resolve. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Do we want to attack first? Yeah, let's go ahead and attack. Get him down to 11. What is lightning axe? Oh, I'm so glad. Okay. All right. It's the get rog. You know, us Americans, we, um, even though it's not the 4th of July just yet, we still love setting off explosives. And I'm sure it's going to continue the rest of this draft, so I do apologize. I mean, yeah, I don't actually care. You can have your three. I'm not going to block. I've got so much that I can do. Unless you, okay, I was very saying, don't have um, Uncaged Fury and Grotesque Mutation. Alright, Sack of Forest. Hmm, interesting. Um, dun -dun. what do we want to do? We're definitely going to attack. Play Explosive Apparatus or Rabbit Bite. Let's see, can we do both? Four. Yeah, we can. And that will kill both of his creatures. All right. So, first things first, get the Apparatus out of our hand. And I want to do this before attack so that I know everything is going to go okay. Go ahead and make me discard my resolve, which I completely was okay with. And we're going to save the explosive apparatus until he attacks. Because literally right now we could kill it and he just brings it back and we waste a, a good card. I'm probably not going to kill the skeleton, but I did want to get that uh, Rotten Heart Ghoul out of the way. So that he's got a 10 turn clock and I've got a 3 turn clock. And I'm also drawing two cards a turn, so there's that. Does that hit players? Oh, okay. So, actually, he's got next turn. I'm going to kill him next turn unless he blocks. What's he you doing? No, 
Nope, no tax. All right. This is completely fine with me. I will draw my two cards. Yep, undo. It was a bit too early. Oh, okay. Now, let's just play our lands. He needs to have two combat spells to trade for the monster. And even then, I can just blow it up in response. Going to two. I would hope he would just block and bring it back to his hand. No? Alright. He's saving it for that time that he really, really honestly needs to, but he could have blocked or turned it to his hand and then played it. Okay, we win round one with Gitrog. I'll see you guys for round two.